That's the whole story behind this incident. Well, what do you have to say to that? Apparently nothing. It must have hit the nail on the head. That's a lot of ellipses. And even more. What? Are you broken again? You can't get out of this, so don't even try. Come on! It's time you finally revealed yourself! It's not like you're an endangered species or something. How long do you plan to keep hiding? Give it up, Junko. The game's over. Over? Uh-oh. <laughs> Did you really think the story would end once we reached the climax of the case? Wrong! There's still plenty more to go! The super high school level and ultimate despair, Junko Enoshima. We have been waiting! Waiting so very long for peasants like you to appear! Oh my god. If you swear your fealty to us, we will reward you with half of the entire world! Really? Half of the entire world? We've even drawn up the deed already! We will grant you honor, status, in some of our home cooking! Well, how could I resist? Have you made your choice? Will you serve under us? Uh, uh well, I mean... <laughs> I, I, well, I mean, you kind of came out of nowhere and asked me a very interesting question. Uh, half of the world? Hell yeah! Oh, did you think I was being serious? Sorry, I was just messing with you. Damn it! It's almost like those answers gave me the same response. It's been so long since I've had an audience. Even I'm not sure what kind of role I'm supposed to play. Oh, wow. She is very unhinged. That's Junko Enoshima. Oh, my. Face to face with the ultimate despair. Anyway, looks like I've finally been set free. Having to play Monokuma all the time, day after day. It was like I was stuck in purgatory. Or, like a slow suicide. I get bored so easy, you know? Your face! Huh? What about my face? What's wrong with my beautiful face? People have told me I'm cuter than a hundred chihuahuas combined. I feel like this isn't the first time I've seen you. Yeah! Oh, wait, wait a minute! Where? Oh. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. I got it! That's right. It was before I ever came to this school. I remember seeing a magazine cover. And you were on it. Wow, you have a pretty good memory. I guess that's why you've made it this far, huh? So I was right. Then what you told me in the main hall when this all began. Ooh, that was a very big lie. Interesting. Edit it to hell to get rid of Mukuro's freckles.
Sometimes a little lie is necessary to keep things moving along. Wouldn't you agree? That explains why she didn't quite seem the same, because she was a different person all along. I'm me, and Mukuro is Mukuro. She tried her best, but there's just no way she could have passed as the ultimate fashionista. Well, she tried her best, but you did kill her. Two people can never become one as long as the walls of mind and body exist. Are we getting philosophical talk? From the ultimate despair? Not even if they're twins. Oh my god, are you kidding? <laughs> twins? Wait, what? I know, it's such a cliche, right? I'm almost embarrassed to admit it. You two were sisters? So basically, Mukuro and I had your stereotypical twin relationship. The older sister, tough and proud, that was Mukuro. The younger sister, smart and cute, that was... <laughs> Me! Junko fucking Anishima! Jesus Christ, where did that come from? And together, we were the Despair Sisters, aka the Ultimate Despair! Oh my god, I love this actress. Whoa! She's a totally different person now! What personality are we on right now? Oh, the third one! Like I said, I get bored easy as hell! I even get fucking bored of myself! Well, you're keeping me entertained. But if, if you're twins... Why do you have different last names? Is that really important right now? Oh, that again? You have any idea how many times people ask me that shit? Maybe it's new to your dumb ass, but it bores me to tears. Answering the same questions over and over? Oh, please keep talking. This is amazing. Just make up whatever answer you want. I don't give a shit. The truth's fucking lame anyway. So, like the Joker, her backstory is multiple choice. But if she was your twin, that means... You killed your own sister? Okay, that right there is bullshit. And for reasons deeper and darker than the ocean. Ha! <laughs> As if! Well, I suppose I'd better explain. Oh, personality number four! For my plan to work, someone had to be able to control the killing game from behind the scenes. The so-called mastermind had to operate Monokuma, keep an eye on everyone, things like that. But after looking at the situation, I determined it would be impossible for Mukuro to perform such duties. Because naturally, she turned out to be the letdown of the family. Oh, ouch. Leaving me behind to run off and join some band of mercenaries. Such a disappointment. So, I decided to play the role of director and have her join the rest of you in your school life. I could have let her work alongside me, but she would have been useless to me that way. Besides, Fifteen students seemed like a solid number to start with. Of course, the fact that she was the ultimate soldier posed something of a problem. She had what I call the three atrocities. Atrociously rank, atrociously filthy, atrociously repulsive. She didn't look that bad. It was atrociously clear just how out of touch she was with the rest of society. Meanwhile, my ultimate fashionista status has an undeniable appeal that I didn't want to go to waste. I, I seriously love this personality, and I should probably let you know, Mukuro and Junko and all of her different personalities are the exact same woman. And that's why you switched identities? Actually, I should probably take that back. It's two women. Sadly, her inability to match my personality was even greater than I'd calculated. It was a lost cause. She was nothing more than a bit player, an extra unworthy of lines. Being the utter disappointment that she was, anyone would have expected her to get killed off right away. Which is precisely why I killed her, to meet everyone's expectations. Wow, I think that was the director talking directly to fans. That's cold hearted. That can't be your only reason. Can it? What a terrible reason to kill off your own sister! Well, no, of course not. I also did it to avoid becoming bored. <laughs> I've never been a stickler for following a plan to the letter, you know? Oh, there's personality number five! If I planned everything out and knew just what was gonna happen, that'd be so boring! So, I changed things just a bit and decided to use Mukuro to make a little point! You used her as an example! I mean, I already knew this, but that's terrible! In other words, 
Mukuro's death was a one-sided, premeditated act of betrayal. Just as I suspected. When Mukuro was killed, she must have been as surprised as anybody else. Now her death rattle makes a lot more sense. She didn't see that one coming. <laughs> so you figured it out? Well, you're right! There's no way Mukuro could have pulled off such a convincing performance. But she did teach you all a very valuable lesson, don't you think? Oh my god! What am I even seeing here? How can you talk like that? You killed a part of your own flesh and blood! You sacrificed your own sister! How does that not even bother you? What? I sacrificed her? That's what's got you so hot under the collar? Jeez, misunderstandings sure are scary. What is there to misunderstand? You killed your sister! We were the ultimate despair, you know? So we never had any kind of hope or expectations. Nope, I felt despair as long as I can remember. Like I never should have been born at all. When I was born, I cried tears of total despair. You know, I can't really take her seriously with the cute Moe voice, but goddamn, she is saying some depressing things. So that's why for us, it's not a big deal whether we die or kill. We're just those kinds of people. We can do anything. We've always been filled with despair. So when we do something, we go all the way and live without regret. So you just murdered your own sister and didn't think anything of it? That's not true at all. Oh, there we go, personality number six! We were twins. How could I not be sad? That's why it gets me so... excited. Uh-oh. Killing my precious sister with my own two hands? That act is filled with so much despair. You can't help but put a super in front of it. Super Despair Twins, coming soon! It's like... Super, 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 super despair. No, more than that. Super, 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 super despair. I think you missed one. It just feels so good. What the hell is wrong with you? You just voiced the opinion of every single person watching. And my sister, too. In that moment of death. I think she must have felt that despair. Oh, and the pain of a bunch of spears going through her chest and torso. After all, to be murdered by your own sister, and only as an example to someone else. She must have died feeling such excruciating hopelessness. I'm so jealous of her. Super jealous. I knew you couldn't be just some ordinary person. You're some kind of abnormality. That's putting it lightly. Turning your own despair into some kind of fetish. Abnormality doesn't even begin to describe it. She gets off on making other people feel terrible. Oh my god! Like, Genocide Jill is crazy for sure, but this is a whole nother level of nuts! You're saying I don't compare to some lowly beast that can only kill the weak, right? So, I'm hopelessly attractive, hopelessly brilliant, hopelessly athletic. I'm the hopelessly perfect ultimate human. I didn't say that, neither did anybody else. No, I don't think there's anything perfect about anything you just said. All the screws are loose. Yeah, Master's way more perfect, because on top of everything else, he's got that noble blood. Hmm. Don't you mean had that noble blood? <gasps> oh no! What did you just say? What do you mean by that? Oh no! <laughs> you still haven't figured that part out yet? Man, you guys are so slow! And that uh, brings in personality number seven! You haven't even solved all the mysteries, and yet here you are, yap, yap, yapping away! Oh, that voice sounds so familiar, and I love her. Are you talking about our memories? You've already solved this mystery, right? I'm the killer! 
So how about the next one? Maybe you should solve the riddle of your missing memories. Then you can start gloating. Damn straight. That's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to solve all these mysteries. Hell yeah, Makoto. That's right. And then we'll have our victory. <laughs> I can't wait. All right. Then let's just get straight to the point. What memories did you steal from us? When the group pictures were taken, and those interviews, it must mean... I got it! It must have something to do with our entrance exams! Ooh, swing and a miss! Hmm... No fair! At least give us a hint! Your brains are like sponges, all drippy and leaky! I already gave you a hint before! All the memories you lost share something in common with a few other things. Do you recall? Um... Do I? I... Mm, uh, well... Uh, the founding? No. Uh, the class try No. Oh. They're making it easy on purpose, got it. I got it! You're talking about the motives you provided to try and get us to kill each other, right? So you do remember after all. Well, I would hope you wouldn't forget something so important. Oh, welcome back. It was stupid of me to even ask. I apologize from the bottom of my heart for my bad manners. So then, let me ask you another question. Did you notice that each motive I presented you had a specific theme to it? Actually, yeah, I think I pointed this out at one point, but, uh, I was wrong. A uh, theme? Yep, you got it. So that's my question to you all. When Sayaka was murdered, what was the theme of the motive I presented? Hmm... The reason Sayaka committed murder. Well... He showed us some bad imagery. It was my family on Sayaka's... Her entire idol group was gone. The first motive was the human connection. I got it! The driving force behind the motive you presented us with at that point was human connections. Ding, ding, ding. You got it. Remember those DVDs I gave you guys? Each video showed the total destruction of your most important relationships. For example, your family. For example, your friends. I ruined all those relationships and showed you the results. It was to motivate your desire to escape and kickstart your urge to kill. But still, what a cruel thing to do. You're the one that did it! Yes, well, I'm perfectly happy to accept your disapproval. Time for the next question! Man, I'm getting whiplash. Um, so... What was the theme for the second motive? Second one, that was Mondo killing Chihiro. We were given an envelope saying our biggest secret. For mine, it was wetting the bed for the longest time, and for Mondo, it was for him accidentally killing his older brother. That would be... Our dark past. I got it! It was our past, right? Yay! Makoto got it right again! That time, the theme was... Embarrassing memories and secrets! Yeah! <laughs> oh my god. And the whole reason Mondo did what he did was to protect his secret. So... How long do you plan on dragging this out? Are you kidding, Byakuya? I'm having fun. Relax, relax. Okay, on to the next question. How can she be the ultimate despair? So, what was the motive for the third murder? Well, the third murder was actually the most straightforward of them all. Celeste killed Hifumi, but Hifumi was helping out Celeste and killed Taka. So, essentially, Celeste killed two people. All she wanted it for was to buy her own castle and a bunch of vampire hotties. 
That was clearly greed. I got it! It was money, wasn't it? Greed. Seek and destroy! Hell yeah, you got it again! Woo! Good job, Vakoto! Goddamn straight it was money! Celeste killed Hifumi and Taka for a little personal gain! God, you fucking got it, Makoto! Her greed led to all kinds of death and destruction! No shit! What's the point of all this? Why are you making us go through this case by case? Actually, Makoto, if you start to notice what these themes are... Uh, well, let's just continue. <laughs> Don't worry, sweet cheeks. Just one more to go. This Junko is really funny. Now, can you tell me the motive behind Crazy Ass Sakura's crazy ass death? Hell yeah, I can, you crazy ass bitch! Sakura's death was a bit different. She was a mole for the mastermind. She was a spy. And she took her own life. But there was a reason for that self sacrifice. Why did she do it? Well, it was actually. Because she wanted us to stay together. That was so nice, but unfortunately, we didn't take it that way. We saw it as a form of betrayal. I got it! In her case, it was betrayal. Precisely. You see... Once I revealed Sakura's betrayal, that led to everything that came afterwards. Anyway... It looks like you answered all of my questions correctly. How painfully delightful. But what's the point? What meaning is there in asking those questions now? Relationships? Secrets? Money? Betrayal? If you really think about it, those are simple, everyday things. These are all pretty standard motives, right? The most normal of normal. Totally middle of the road. But of course, those aren't the only motives that exist in this world. In fact, there are as many reasons to kill as there are people on Earth. They compel humans to kill each other, bringing despair to the world. This is what we refer to as the Seed of Despair. Seed of Despair? Just as water, air, and food promote growth in living things, the Seed of Despair also needs nourishment. A.K.A. a motive. And that nourishment is hope. Despair can grow only in the presence of hope. Again, yeah. Two sides of the same coin, divided by a razor-thin line. Such is hope and despair. That's actually a good way to put it. How much longer is this stupid speech of yours? Weren't we discussing our missing memories? Why are you trying to change the subject? If you would listen, you would see I'm not changing the subject. We are discussing your memories. What I'm trying to say is, the seed of despair is closely tied to your own memories. Uh, how so? You see, by taking away your memories, I gave you hope. Of course that hope merely existed to be consumed by despair. So, living in blissful ignorance gave us hope. How could taking away someone's memories give them hope? Oh lord, this is going to destroy us. And plus, you haven't given us any hope anyway! Is that so? All you've been able to think about during your time here is how to escape, right? The mere fact that that's what you want proves I gave you hope. What are you talking about? If none of you wanted to escape this school, the killings never would have taken place. That is why we took your memories, so that you would have the desire to leave. The only reason we want to leave is because you took our memories. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Correct, Mundo! Which means if we did have our memories, then we wouldn't want to leave. Do I understand that right? What? Why the hell would having our memories make us not want to leave? <laughs> A most troubling thought, isn't it? But it's not enough. I want more distress, more despair. 
I put so much effort into creating hope in order to feed your despair and make it grow. So, just like Crazy Eddie slashing his prices and passing the savings on to you, let me give you a hint. Huh? Really? <laughs> yeah, really? Then hurry up and tell us. Okie dokie. Like they say, seeing is believing. I'd like for you to see the outside world. Really? We're going to be able to see outside? You mean the world beyond the school walls? Like, like for real outside? So something really did happen out there. Now are you interested in what I have to say? You want to see what's out there? Yes, it's been forever. <laughs> I want to see too. See your faces sink into despair. What could have possibly happened? It's the world. <laughs> now then, open sesame! Behold! The world beyond the school walls! This is the outside world you've all been so anxious to claw your way back into! Stop talking and let us see! What am I looking at? Yeah, my thoughts exactly, Makoto. What? I. What the hell? I'll complete it for you. Dangerous. The world has grown so very dangerous. That's what this means. What are you talking about? None of this makes any sense! I mean, have you seen outside? Nothing about that looks normal! What, what am I looking at? This is a scene from a movie or something, right? Or a really entertaining visual novel. What you just saw, all of you should recognize it. Really? I mean, it looks different, but I saw a couple things that seem to have been taken over by Monokuma's face. I don't like this at all. That world is locked away within the memories that were taken from you. If you can't remember, please just try. Do your best to try and recall. <laughs> Kick your brain in the ass, cause it's up to that gray lump whether you live or die. I don't remember, ain't a fucking excuse no more. Cause now it's time for the final class. 